Bengaluru, also known as a garden city, is the capital city of the Indian state of Karnataka. Bengaluru is also known as the Silicon Valley of India because of its role as a nation's leading information technology exporter. Bengaluru has a pleasant climatic condition throughout the year and the city is among the top 10 preferred entrepreneurial locations in the world. A demographically diverse city, Bengaluru is a major economic and cultural hub and the second fastest growing major metropolis in India. The city wakes up to a new morning. Every day begins with us spending some time for ourselves or with people whom we love. This is the way our lives begin in the cold breeze of Bengaluru morning. Then the mundane work cycle begins. Most of us have a place where we work and we tend to rush there within time to start our daily routine. In the evening, as the sun bids goodbye, so do we from our work and our mad rush to meet our loved ones back home knows no boundaries. The only thing after a whole tiresome work schedule would be just to meet our loved and dear ones waiting for us back home. As the saying goes, all is well that ends well. What better way for some of us than to end the weary day with some intoxication before we hit the bed. Every day as the sun goes up and settles itself in the evening, our life goes along with its cycle. Yes, it's the same rush every day, morning to evening, but a rather organized chaos every day with a break on a Sunday. But do we even realize that it's not the same for everyone? We are so engrossed in our own activities that we seldom recognize that people who care for us don't live a relaxed life much like us. Their day is never like ours. While our early mornings are filled with activities that spin around us and our loved ones, these resilient soldiers are at watch at the wee hours just to ensure our safety. Every drop of effort made by them is solely and entirely for us. The midsummer sun is no excuse for them to relax. While it shows them no mercy burning them, with a fury that sends the rest of us running toward the shelter, they stand unshaken by the heat amidst the chaotic traffic working on their job. As the sun retires for the day, another hectic day comes to an end for us, but not for them. The settling sun reveals the busiest face of Bengaluru's traffic. The thought of reaching home often blinds us, that we often tend to overlook the basic road etiquettes. Even though the evening traffic is more like a symphony of confusion on the road, these resilient soldiers stay calm to ensure the free flow that enables us to reach our destination in peace. Not to forget what some of us consume in the night. Yes, a little liquor. We feel it always helps us to relax. And then the famous line, one for the road. Much to the pleasure of us all, the bar timings have been increased and so has their patrolling time. The more we stay out parting, the more we burden them with our security. Is it just a daily duty for them or more than that? Do we even realize or understand the hard work that goes into every task performed by them? And all this is just to protect us and make our journey safe. If there is any call, then we have to be ready for work. Uh, in emergency, we have to work uh, all day. But uh, sometimes to alas, sometimes even more, uh, no fixed timings for us. Festivals also we doesn't take. We enjoy our festival some other day. Like, uh, we, after the duty, like 9, 10 o'clock, I'll finish our duty. 
then suddenly they'll tell us to do drink and drive then we have extra time another 2 hours 3 hours we have to work because our pla our duty is like that we have promised that we work 24 hours uh, we have to suffer but uh, due to for public we have to sacrifice it few people support us few people uh, scold us so we have to just adjust with that and we have to enjoy our work. late night or early morning we have to enjoy with our family we, we cannot tell that we tomorrow we can go for some film or like that then suddenly we book a ticket and suddenly they will tell there is a some emergency duty you have to join for duty then we have to cancel it and uh, we have to come for duty so whatever time we get we have to enjoy with our family and uh, enjoy our life yes most of us are ignorant about their way of life they have odd work timings and most of them work on sundays and festival days in fact most of the time is spent at work needless to say they might know when they might begin their work the next day but when it ends is mostly a mystery even to them holidays special occasions festivals and weekends are just days they must be prepared to work around the clock when we spend time with our family and friends doing shopping visiting places destin on the roads to organize the traffic while we are busy making merry celebrating our occasions with pomp and joy and cherishing every moment with our family and friends they stand guarding us to safety the basic human tenet of survival is translated into a working job so we can live a fulfilling life it comes simply to most of us fixed hours a handsome pay and a stable life Shahjan Samuel, Senior Vice President of MAC, has arranged various stress-relieving sessions for the Bengaluru Traffic Police as a social initiative from MAC Aptic Group. The documentary on the resilient Bangalore traffic cop is important in portraying a balanced view on the life of a Bangalore traffic cop. their hardships their sacrifices their non-challenged approach in discharging their duties to eliminate accidents and to keep the roads hassle free is an important part and fact which can be conveyed only through a documentary whenever we will uh, feel free after the peak hour duty we will search for a food and we will have it uh, for the emergency a uh, junk food emergency sometime one um, uh, we have to avoid that to finish off our duty that is possible one only after going back to our home burger or else sandwich somewhat that's it usually near to the junction itself near to the junction itself uh, we will have our uh, uh, snacks or something else obviously we know that it's not an hygienic but we don't have any other way in my home parents can't able to prepare the food by early morning by 6 or 6:30 and uh, even uh, when i go back to my home even if it is at night 10 o'clock everyone will be slept and we can't have even our food uh, till at night our home food we don't have any time to spend our uh, time with our family we are ready to serve the people at any time still now i have not uh, had uh, food my with my family while joining this police department we will uh, accept all uh, all of these conditions that we are ready to do our duty we are ready to serve the public day and night whenever whenever they call even it is a night or on the day in case of celebrations of any festival and uh, the uh, pujas and all even on that day we will uh, we people are all uh, on duty and uh, in that day even we feel bad that our family members are enjoying the festival but we are on duty but uh, there is no any other option we must do our duty that is our motto It's just not the odd work timings or not much of holidays. Those are just the tip of the iceberg. What about their stress levels and health hazards? For them, leading a healthy life is not even an option considering their work surroundings. As invisible friends, they guard the roads of the city, manage the chaos of the ever-growing burden of automobiles, which in turn is our contribution to their stress levels. Most of them suffer from heart diseases, lung issues, impaired hearing, and many more ailments. Pollution, 
being an unavoidable companion in their field of work. A typical traffic policeman's job, however, brings about reasons and ramifications unknown to the common man. They often drudge through work so we can enjoy our jobs, our families and our lives in a safe way. Unlike most of us who relish decent meals and are pampered, fed to our heart's content, they make do with just about anything they get off the road. The hot summer or cold winter just invites them to have just a cup of chai and their lunch and evening snacks are what they have to do on the roadsides because for them, eating is more of an attempt to survive. Vanita Ashok, former Mrs. India runner-up and fitness queen, often tries to take time out of her busy schedule to teach these traffic police simple exercises that would help them relax and stretch during work hours. The most stressful job ever, I would say, is that of a policeman, a traffic police, especially in Jamgaluru. Our Bengaluru is known for traffic jam, bustling traffic 24-7. Pollution? Don't even ask about it. And the traffic rule breakers, poor policemen, they are highly stressed. The best thing that they can do is doing some stretching exercises even when manning the traffic. Simple exercises can save them. Stress leads to various diseases, especially the lifestyle diseases like diabetes and blood pressure and certain heart-related problems. So stress-releasing exercises are very, very important. And I'm glad this policeman have come forward to learn a few exercises to release stress and be happier people. Seldom do we realize the amount of suffering we inflict on others even without our knowledge. They two vehicles that are not parked properly, not to make our shopping time miserable, but just to make sure that our improperly parked vehicle is not becoming a hindrance to others. They push us to follow lane discipline so as to ensure that traffic moves smoothly. But aren't we are a part of that traffic? We are provoked when they impede our drive and force us into our helmets. There is nothing in it for them except a humane concern that goes beyond selfish needs. Checking our driving speed and our documents are just to ensure that we are safe on the road. Drinking and driving might not be a big deal for some, but it surely does matter the safety of other riders, who could be one of our family members. Have you just imagined what would traffic be on the road if it wasn't for these resilient guardians? Accidents, deaths, inconvenience, disorderliness and havoc are all that would reign. All they've been requesting, demanding or sometimes even punishing us for is just because we ignore to follow the simple rules laid down for our own benefit. Some of the important violations uh, which we notice on the roads of Bangalore are mainly uh, two-wheeler riders not wearing helmet, uh, car uh, drivers not wearing the seat belt, and even the front uh, passenger also has to wear the seat belt. This we notice that there is some uh, violation of this one. Then uh, footpath riding by motorcycle riders, uh, driving under the influence of alcohol, jumping traffic uh, signals, parking in uh, no parking uh, areas, and uh, 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 driving against uh, the one way. These are some of the major violations which we do notice and we are uh, taking action uh, on a regular basis on these things. So I urge to the people of uh, Bangalore, especially the road users, uh, please cooperate with uh, Bangalore Traffic Police and uh, together we can uh, ensure that the roads uh, are safer for everybody and we urge that uh, every road user in Bangalore should follow all the traffic rules, regulations and guidelines. That will uh, help uh, the Bangalore Traffic Police in keeping the city properly managed. Thank you. We often crib that our hard work has never been recognized at our workplace or even at home. Forget appreciation, but have you even noticed them or their work and dedication that goes into our safety that these resilient guardians do day in and day out for us on the roads of Bengaluru? 
Their very existence makes a huge difference in our everyday life. A little cooperation, respect and gratitude can make a small difference in their daily work life. As the sun comes up the next day, these resilient soldiers yet again prepare to face their day-to-day -day challenges. As they walk gingerly towards their work, their simple hope is that, at least today, we will just obey these simple rules laid by them for us, for our own safety. After all, they are just requesting us to help them serve us better.